Welcome back to the ATO channel. Today we'll walk you through the complete wiring process, working principle, and forward reverse control of a single phase dual capacitor motor. The components we'll use are the motor, circuit breaker, AC contactor, and two push buttons SB1 and SB2. This is the internal electrical schematic of the motor. It has a main winding and an auxiliary winding in parallel. The live wire and neutral wire supply power. The motor integrates two capacitors, a running capacitor and a starting capacitor. The starting capacitor provides initial torque, while the running capacitor maintains efficiency. Additionally, a centrifugal switch is mounted on the motor shaft. Its job is to control the start capacitor based on motor speed. At low speed during startup, the switch is closed, keeping the starting capacitor in circuit for extra starting torque. As the motor reaches high speed, the switch opens, auto disconnecting the start capacitor in series, leaving only the running capacitor active for smooth continuous operation. In other words, the starting capacitor works only during low speed startup, while the running capacitor keeps the motor operating smoothly at high speed, and the centrifugal switch automates capacitor switching. That's the basic internal structure and workings of the single phase dual capacitor motor. Then how do we reverse the motor rotation? Reversing direction is as simple as swapping U1 and U2 connections. This changes the phase relationship between windings, altering the magnetic field direction. The motor has six terminals plus two copper connectors. When we connect Z2 to U1 and U2 to V1, a vertical connection, the motor will rotate counterclockwise. This schematic details the circuit of this system. Press SB2. The contactor engages and the motor runs counterclockwise. Press SB1. The motor stops. Conversely, when we connect Z2 to U2 and U1 to V1, a horizontal connection, the motor rotates clockwise. Upon operation, pressing SB2 activates the contactor, rotating the motor clockwise, and SB1 stops it. In summary, by changing the copper connector positions between the terminals, we can easily switch the rotation direction of a single-phase motor with two capacitors. For a wide range of motors, capacitors, AC contactors, and more, visit ATO.com. We offer a wide variety of motors, including single-phase and three-phase induction motors, brushed and brushless DC motors, stepper motors, servo motors, and more. We also provide reliable, ready-to-use motor control solutions, such as variable frequency drives, soft starters, encoders, etc., as well as essential components like capacitors, AC contactors, circuit breakers, and push buttons, shown in this video. Explore our comprehensive solutions tailored to your automation needs and empower your projects with our quality products and expertise. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more motor control tutorials and industrial automation guides. Leave a comment with your questions or topics you want us to cover. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.